Hey guys, welcome once again to the brand new installment of the Visual Vapor Reviews. Today's going to be kind of a topic to, uh, topic Friday because I wasn't able to really get any product to do reviews for, but I do have actually I do have one, but I'm also just getting over a bit of a cold and it's been driving me crazy. So, we're going to be doing a little bit of that today. Oh, and I finally found my V God shirt which is wonderfully provided to me, thanks to the people over at SS Vape. Right now I'm vaping on the last dregs of my, um, some, oh, what is it called? <laughs> the Zebra Striped Bubble Gum, and the flavor we'll be taking a look at today is Typical Tobacco. Even though there's no nicotine in it, I will be doing a quick review on it to see what it tastes like on a dripper and see what uh, what it will real uh, if it'll really mimic the taste of um, a cigarette or a cigar so all right time to choose a topic for today let's see how about drip tips drip tips are a pretty common thing and most people probably don't know there's a big difference between the drip tips you have and the drip tips you use and how they affect your vape. So why don't I grab a couple drip tips so you guys can see. And we'll go from there. Alright, so let's grab a couple of drip tips and we'll move it forward. This is our cat Chase. He's a wonderful little kitten. I love him, but he's a pain in the butt. So in the meantime, go hang out on the bed. There we go. So what I'm going to be doing is talking about drip tips. So there's wide drip tips, there's thin drip tips, there's drip tips that go from wide to small, and all sorts of drip tips that go from small to wide as well. So this is a standard 510 drip tip. Really simple, really easy. It starts, it tapers down to a six, from a 510 to a six millimeter diameter it's a pretty simple little tip and it has seals in it that'll help it hook and grab onto it so what you'll notice here is it is a this is a wide cone drip tip and it'll go from the inside here 510 fitting to a wider piece and the cat is on my chair get off my chair you so, in any case, we got the wide board drip tip, and then of course we have a Delrin drip tip. A Delrin drip tip is an all-in-one built-in piece. It allows you to just put it on top of my toe baddie. So, you'll notice that there are rings here underneath the drip tip. So, I'll show you guys the difference between vaping with a wide bore and a th uh, narrow bore. So, this is the 510. Really simple. 50 watts. Watch this. some pretty big cloudage to what I use normally. I didn't give that big of a cloud today because <laughs> my throat's still kind of going over it. So next up, I'll show you guys the narrow drip tip. And the cat is scaling the flipping. Okay, that's new. Here, I'll show you guys. See? The cat was scaling our um, compressor. And there goes the phone. So just a sec, guys. Sorry. There we go. Alright. So this pain in the butt decided he wanted to scale up the dresser. And he's not supposed to do that because I have stuff up there that I don't want him messing with. So, back on the bed. Bye-bye. So next up, this is the narrow drip tip. It's not in a cone shape. It's a straight tube. Let's show you guys how it vapes. Sorry, the cat decided to do it again. He don't listen, apparently. So, let's try that again. Now, it affects your flavor differently. The wider the drip tip, the fast, the, it'll hit the back of your, your um, pa uh, mouth uh, taste buds. Get off that and stop interrupting my video. <laughs> and then the wider the bore that goes to narrow will... Just a sec, guys. Now, 
hopefully we'll be able to do this video without any more interruptions. There's a reason I don't let the cat in my videos, because it does that. So, in any case, back to um, talking about how the, co the cone shape hits your... <sighs> so, in any case, it goes from when it's narrow and closer together, it hits the front of your tongue. But the further back is the better of the taste buds because you have a better, you have more flavor receptors as it's going down. So in the case of this short bore simple tube, it is meant for hitting right there, right at the tip of your tongue. But for narrow bore or narrow um, cone bores like this, that's for hitting back there. And for some reason, my fan just turned on by itself. But either way. I digress. So let's do another hit off this tube and then we'll go on to the final one, the Dr Delrin. Alright, so we'll take this drip tip off. And I don't really use this drip tip all that much because I don't really like how it hits. So now I'll put this drip tip back on and show you guys how it vapes per and better. <coughs> Hold up. Whew. Dang, that's a little strong. There we go, that's a little bit better. So next up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the fill section off this, so that it's just the barrel. I'm gonna take, clean that off just a little bit and show you how the Delrin works. And this is the Delrin. The Delrin is a full piece that combines the drip tip and the, um, cover piece together into one piece into one co coherent piece and it does vape really well like this too watch this I like it but of course it's time to drip so yeah definitely time to drip on that so why don't we show you guys about this uh, typical tobacco it's also called shadow cut no nicotine whatsoever just a good flavor I want to see what it tastes like friend of mine recommended it, so I said I'd give it a try. There we go. That ought to be enough to soak up my coils a bit. So now I'll show you what the Delrin does in its full rank. Fair warning, if I cough, it's not because of how strong it is, it's because the flavor is just really tobacco-y. So, I never really liked tobacco, but I'm going to give it a try because some juice is better than no juice. So, let's try it. <coughs> wow all right guys that definitely whew, that's definitely tobacco it's sweet but it has a plant-like taste almost kind of rich too like a chocolate sweet chocolate it's not bad the first uh, the first cough was just kind of whew. That was really powerful. Alright, so this is the Delrin tip. Now I'll go back to my normal, because frankly, <laughs> my normal tastes better. My normal drip tip. It, it may look smaller, but it definitely hits better, so let's try it this way, and maybe I'll get a few tricks in too. There we go. Now, unfortunately, I can't do a full dragon. I can <coughs> only do a half dragon today because I'm my nose is still kind of stuffed up. Watch this. If I do a nose part of the dragon, I'll show you. See how it's coming out more this nostril than this one? Well, vice versa. It's barely coming out of this one. They're both. It's coming out both nostrils, but this one was what, what was stuffed originally. And it's just starting to clear up. So it is kind of difficult to breathe with um, my nose like that. But So I've kind of had to cut back on what I've been doing with um, my flavors. I have to go for lighter flavors, not harsh throat hit ones. Also, quick question, guys, for those of you um, experienced vapors out there. <clears throat> What do you think would happen if I added the rest of my propylene glycol to this mix? There's about 50 milliliters of evenly mixed e-juice right here. 
at 50-50. So <clears throat> the question for you guys is what would what do you think would happen? Would it become too light or too thick? I don't want it to be dripping all over the place. I just want my cotton to soak it up. But the flavor <clears throat> The flavor that comes off this thing is second to none. My Tobe Addy is one of my favorite RDAs. I've never had any problems with it since I've gotten it. And I really... Hold up. <laughs> I gotta turn the airflow. I was noticing my airflow wasn't as... <laughs> wasn't set to the way I like it. There used to be just three dots here. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but I drilled them out so that they were slits into it. <clears throat> but the flavor is just really good. I like that tobacco flavor now. I might get that every so often when I want to have a, the tobacco flavor without smoking a cigarette because <laughs> I ain't smoking for the life of me. Those icky sticks just don't make me feel <laughs> feel right. They just don't feel good at all. I <laughs> tried it once, never doing it again. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, not sorry, actually. <laughs> Smoking's dead. Vaping's the way of the future. So, all right. <clears throat> Time to really break into the topic. Now, I know I was talking about drip tips and all that, and that was part of a topic, but... So there are some interesting things you probably didn't know about vapes in general. So let's start by the simplest things. Like, for example, oh, here we go. <clears throat> You've probably seen these little beauties around. These little rings that would go around your tank and they'd be, um, they'd be there just for you. They're rubber and they have these cool sayings like married to my mod or yes, it's a clone and stuff like that. What do you think they're for? They're not just for decoration, believe it or not. If you have a tank, a glass tank, these go around it to protect it. It's a shock absorber, and they actually help you from they help you save your tank should you drop it. Now, of course, granted, if you drop it from a high space, so like say you're standing up and you're holding it over pavement and then all of a sudden it drops, your tank's probably going to break unless by some miracle it lands somewhere else, but on the off chance that you're just sitting there and it knocks over and it drops and it hits something, this will help it out. It's a shock absorber. That's why some people cover their tanks in these things. Next up, RDAs. Some things you probably didn't know. So, basically an RDA is called a rebuildable dripping atomizer, as a lot of vape experienced vapors may or may not know. RDAs are the best way to get your flavor instantly, instant flavor change, and best flavor or clouds, depending on how you build it. But depending on how you build it, you can get exceptionally good flavor. You can tailor the cloudage and the flavor to the way that you feel is best for you. With an RDA, you get a lot of pros, but a few cons as well. Sorry, guys, I do have a bit of, a, still have a bit of a stuffy nose. But, so, the biggest cons, <laughs> bless you, the biggest cons to using an RDA, one, you have to drip on it constantly. So, say every four or five hits, you'll notice it goes dry, you have to drip on it, which can be kind of a con because it's subjective con. You have to find your bottle of juice and then you have to stop what you're doing and drip on it. But, the pro is you get amazing flavor, you get really good clouds depending on how you build and you can build just about any size coil depending on the RDA you're using. You can use really big beefy coils with a screwdriver like this. Or you can use real, make really tiny coils with a screwdriver like that. Notice the size difference. One's wicked beefy, the other's really tiny. Depending on your size and the number of wraps, you can tailor your coils to, fit, uh, to be however you want them. Like for example, really teeny tiny coil. Or you can make them really, really big and make them ta uh, make the flavor really good, but the cloudage or the cloud reduced. So it's all about how you build it. And of course, a lot of RDAs these days come with the infamous blue screwdriver for helping your builds. But I digress. The flavor uh, basically, I use RDAs because their flavor is better and their clouds are enormous when it comes to what you're trying to do. To kind of give you an idea of how it works, the bare bones of any coil, you have the in a coil head with a tank, you have a 
removable headpiece that has cotton surrounding the inside and then coil a coil wrap on the un underneath that so it'll be just like a mini spring unless of course you're using mesh which is like a metal screen that goes around and creates better airflow in the case of an RDA an RDA is like the bare bones of any tank so you'll see down there by the screw a tiny um, a tiny wire down there and when you push the button instant uh, instant vapage. There's no ramp up time on this. It only takes a couple uh, nanosecond to heat up and start vaping. So the flavor really comes off quick. You get those quick second hits. Like for example, that pu pulse was only a 0.4 second hit. Now if I do this, that was a 1.4 second hit. And the flavor came off perfectly on that. There's no complaints. Now, it all depends on how you like to vape. If you like really restricted airflow, which gives you really good flavor but less clouds, or you could make your coils really big and have a lot of cotton so it soaks up a ton of juice and you'll go through juice a little quicker but your flavor will be on point. <laughs> Oh, by the way, in case you guys are wondering, what I use for my um, cotton when I'm R building RDAs, this stuff right here, organic Japanese cotton balls. Now, yes, they're not, they're like the cotton balls that you'd buy from a store, but what I do is I go to a, um, a co-op, which is basically an organic food store, and I get all my cotton balls through that way. It's a really simple way to, because they're organic Japanese cotton, there's nothing else in them, it's just straight up cotton. And it really makes for a good wicking experience, it lasts a long time. I've been vaping on this cotton for about a week and a half now. Oh, and something to note, the iJoy Avenger, when you vape it, it tells you how many puffs you've taken. It's called a puff counter. Now, this thing I thought would would keep would like make the numbers smaller and keep going to 10,000 or however many vapes I take, but when it hits 10,000, it rolls back to zero. So even though I've taken 10,000 some on hits, it says I've taken only 325. That's because when I hit 10,000, it went to back to zero. So I've taken technically 10,325 puffs since I've owned this vape because I don't always reset the puff counter. So it's pretty cool, but all right, guys, that about finishes things up for the for this video. We're gonna be trying to get um, some new product in. <clears throat> also, some good news. So I w applied a while ago for a position in Sylvania <clears throat> called um, Mid MID Lamp Maker Grade Two, which means I'm an inspector. I'll be inspecting the lights and whatnot as they come off the. There, Sylvania, in case you didn't know, is an automotive lights company. And they pay really good money, so I'm trying to get. I tried getting a job there. Yesterday, they called me back after my interview the day before that, and they said they wanted to make me a job offer. So I completed all the background checks today, and I just went, have to wait to hear back from them. So I'll probably be starting somewhere around October 9th, and that means that I'll be able to have some money extra to put towards these videos, and that'll kind of help me out big time because then when I'm making when I make, go to make these videos. It'll be a lot simpler because I'll have some. I won't be hurting for juice or anything like that. So until that time, I'm gonna try and make a few videos in between now and October 9th. And once I start getting paid and whatnot, I'll be able to do some videos and with um, some better flavors. So I guess until that happens, I'll talk to you guys later. But thanks so much for checking out the videos. As always, I'm your host Michael Cobb, and these have been the visual vapor reviews. Peace guys. Talk to you later.